Hello, I'm Jasmine Veal, and here's your CBS On The Go update. We begin with your CBS2 travel forecast with meteorologist Amber Lee. Hi, Jasmine. Right now, we are still tracking that low pressure system, still moving across toward uh, the mid-Atlantic areas, but they're drying up, and then it looks like much more of that cold weather starts to move back in once we head into the beginning of the week, and then another low pressure system sliding closer to the Great Lakes region. You might, you might want to double check with your airlines because we do have some delays to tell you about in New York, otherwise looking pretty good. And here in Southern California, we are looking at a big warming trend, unseasonably warm temperatures, extreme fire danger as high pressure continues to strengthen as we head into the week, 79 for the coast, 89 for LA and Orange County Metro, 93 for the valleys. We have not seen 90 since Thanksgiving. And then we're looking at temperatures slowly cooling down as another low pressure system starts to move in just to the north of us, bringing in some cooler temperatures and some clouds and the winds on Thursday. All right, thanks, Amber. So want to borrow a drone for the weekend? What about a popcorn machine? Believe it or not, you can check out all of those things at some local libraries. CBS 2's Joe Kwan has more on the campaign to let people know what else they can check out just besides books. Sure, you can check out books and DVDs here at Placential Library, but now you can also check out one of these. Yes, we've gone beyond that. <laughs> Library director Jeanette Contreras says there are about 40 items you can borrow for two weeks at a time. The inventory was decided through a social media survey and paid for with the library's general fund. We're happy to give to the community what they need. Planning to bake a cake? Yeah, there's something to help. We do ask that you come back and return it clean. If you leave some batter behind, there's a cleaning fee. Want to learn to play the guitar or maybe the violin? They've got those too. Responding to our community's needs and their needs are are beyond what we typically think of libraries, which is books. Some are still here for the books. We have a German Shepherd, so we're picking out a book on German Shepherds and training. But Palmer Clark says... It's nice that the library is doing something to attract people in. Such as also offering gadgets, including this Barbie hoverboard. Uh, technical difficulty? The items come in its original box container, so mm -hmm. all the instructions are there for you. There's no cost to borrow, and just like the books here, no overdue fees. But there are replacement costs. All you need is a library card, and if you're throwing a party, they have you covered as well. They got a popcorn machine, a snow cone maker. Now, if you happen to damage or lose the two combined, you're looking at $800. Some other libraries have similar programs. But um, the collection size is not like ours. I bet they don't have a leaf blower. No. <laughs> or this, but you're going to have to get in line. You'll be the first in line for that popcorn maker? Probably. <laughs> in Placentia, Joe Kwan, CBS2 News. <laughs> Pretty good stuff. All right, baseball is in full swing. And here's your CBS On The Go sports update. The Dodgers beat the Giants in San Francisco Sunday. The afternoon game went into extra innings, tied at one. The boys in blue scored a run in the top of the 10th, taking the lead. The Giants were scoreless in the bottom of the 10th, so the Dodgers take the win two to one. All right, but even the pros can make mistakes. Saturday night, the Padres and the Astros game ended in a way you don't see every day. It was scoreless in the bottom of the 10th when Alex Bregman hit a high pop-up that didn't even go past the mound, and first baseman Eric Hosmer called for it, but overran the ball. It just dropped, and the winning run was scored. The Astros won one to nothing. I think even the Astros fans were in shock. All right, that's your CBS On The Go update. I'm Jasmine Beal. Remember, we are always on at CBSLA.com. And be sure to watch us on CBS2 News at 5, 6, and 11.